and welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and this week I am actually drinking a cup of eggnog, which I know is kind of controversial because not a lot of people like eggnog, but whatever. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope you guys are all having an excellent Christmas or holiday, whatever it is that you celebrate, and that you guys are all staying safe, and that maybe you got some good presents as well. As I am filming this, it is not actually Christmas, so we are going to be continuing on with making Christmas presents for my family. And I'm going to be continuing with the trend of not saying who it is for and hoping that they just don't watch this video. This week we are going to be making a kind of a mason jar flower holding wall hang. I know that might be confusing, but if you want to see what exactly that is, then please stick around. So this mason jar wall hang thing, um, I was sent a picture from a family member and they were like, hey, do you think you could make me something like this? And I'm not gonna say no to a challenge. So here are some pictures of what it is actually supposed to look like in case my description was a little unclear and kind of vague. This is the piece of wood we are going to be working with today. And in the end, we're gonna end up putting a hook in the top and stringing up our mason jar. But our first few steps are going to be sanding this down. We're gonna drill a couple of holes in the top so we can work on the actual hanging part. And then we're gonna stain this piece of wood a beautiful dark brown color. Here is our piece of wood. I finished staining it. We've got our two holes drilled at the top and I did actually put a nice clear coat of Mod Podge over top to seal the entire project. Our next piece is this hook. This is what's gonna go into the board and I want it to go pretty close to the top, not right underneath where the string is, just a little bit lower and this hook that I have is just a nice little screw in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it on in. Find my center point between these two, which is right around here. Our hook is in and it is straight up and down, right in the center of where our hang is. And now we're gonna work on the mason jar part. Now for the mason jar part, I have two different jars that are actually kind of on both ends of the extreme scale. I have one that's probably far too big and one that might be a little bit too small. I could not find a medium sized jar, one that is kind of an in-between. I could not find one at the store. So you guys might happen to find something that's a little better suited for whatever piece of wood you're working with, but it also just kind of depends on how many flowers you want to put in the jar. So I'm gonna do both just so the person who is gifted this has some variety but we're going to start with the small jar so how i'm going to tie this up i'm going to leave a pretty decent length of the twine this is the same cotton twine that i used for the top part so i'm going to leave a real long length of it i'm going to loop it once around or maybe We'll go a couple times and I actually want this to stay just a little loose and we're gonna tie a double knot on this side I plan on gluing this all these knots together just to keep them safe and now 
You're gonna take your extra piece, loop it over your hook to determine how long you want this to hang. So because this is so tiny, I'm gonna kinda let it hang a little lower. And then gonna, like I said, we wanted this to stay loose. So I'm tucking this bare string through here. I wanna make sure this is the proper length that I want. And once again, we're gonna double knot it. So there's the hanging portion. And I'm gonna remove some of this extra string. But what I wanna do is loop more of this, more of this twine around the top. Just kind of give it like a, a rustic feel. Here, there, that helps keep the string out of the way. And you can really just wrap it around the top as much as you want. When you are done, I'm just gonna take the extra string and once again, knot it, double knot it to our loop at the top. Cut off any extra. And since I plan on going back in and gluing the knots to make sure they're secure, I can always glue this little frayed piece down if I want to. But there's one jar. For this big jar, we're gonna do the same method. And there's jar number two. It's starting to be too cold to be able to do our outros outdoors, but we are still going to take an up close look at how our mason jar wall hang turned out. Here it is with our tiny little mason jar. I actually hung up this hook so we could hang stuff in my little corner of the basement when it does get too cold to look at stuff outside. But here's the tiny little mason jar and you can very easily remove it and interchange it with the big one. And you just slide it over the hook, straighten it out, and there's the big one. I think both of them actually look pretty nice and it's, I think it's nice to have different options depending on how big of a flower arrangement you wanna have hanging. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, then feel free to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. All of my links are down in the description box below for my Facebook page and my Instagram, as well as my PayPal if you're interested in contributing to the channel. I'll see you guys all for the next video.